Cable Dip fans, if you notice at the beginning of the video, I posted a picture of the side view of the cuff from the work shed scene and the piece to match that um, that I bought. Now what it is, it is an automotive exhaust clamp. It is a three inch and you know I'm fond of three inch. It's kind of a three inch or actually a little bit bigger and we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm going to draw out what we have. <clears throat> now this is just a pre-plan of what I need to do to actually make it look correct. Now I'm drawing out the one from Evil Dead 2. So you got your bolt coming through here and then you got your inner piece of it. It's actually connected to this outer, outer, outer ring like this. There's some single break in it. Now the one that I found and I'm not sure if ones that are smaller that th than three inch actually have the single break in it. Um, you, if you want to find something like this, you're really risking not having a lot of hand room or wrist room um, when you're putting on that kind of a cuff. And you got to remember, there's movie magic in this whole deal when they when they show something like that. So there could be an actual completely open spot that you don't even see. Okay, so the one that I bought got your outer ring here, got your bolt. And on the inside, I actually have one, two, three on the inner piece, which is actually a lot easier. And it's not a big deal to have an extra break in it. You're not even gonna notice that when it's all together. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, if you wanna get that specific, you can, but you are running a risk. If you find any with uh, a single break, it could be a smaller diameter of cuff or exhaust clamp. And, uh, I'm, and it's gonna be a lot easier with three different segments I'm gonna show you here in a second. Okay, so if you got the front view of this inner piece, you know, you got your outer ring on top. And then what you're gonna see, it comes down like this and like that. Now, to make it look like the Evil Dead 2 one, so you got your top, you got your top ring piece like that. From this angle and this angle, I actually have to flatten it out a bit to go like that. So what I'm gonna have to do is find a smaller diameter than three inch and clamp, tighten the crap out of it and get as flat as possible. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to figure out a different method to push it out like this to make it look just like the Evil Dead 2 work shed uh, clamp or cuff. And one thing you might have noticed um, when she broke it apart on Evil Dead 2, they had this little kind of metal piece hanging out that goes underneath. I'm, I don't think mine has that. So I came up with a quick solution to do that. I'm going to take my oversized PVC that I always use. I'm going to figure out that width distance that I'm going to need here. Um, you know, between the between the two, right? So I got I got that, and then you got your, you know, barrel nuts or whatever, the connector, connectors, you got your bolt. So this is gonna be underneath here. So I'm gonna take my oversized PVC, I'm gonna figure out that width and cut that out. And it will actually give this cuff more structure. So what I'll have, when I'm done, is I'll have my PVC piece like this, right? And I'll have my underneath pieces, right? I don't know how close they are together. This is just a rough drawing and planning this crap out. <clears throat> so, so I can get it right for you guys. And you got your ring over top, to here, to here. And you got your bolt that comes through that connects with a square nut. So this will be the proper Evil Ed 2 work shed cuff. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to make sure I can actually get it bent down like this from this. It is a stainless steel piece, which stainless steel is not too hard to bend, but when it's, <laughs> when it's rounded out in a circle and you got bends like this, it gets to be a challenge. And with it being three different segments versus two, it's gonna be easier. Now, I'm, you know, clamping it down as hard as I can, I, I'm only gonna get it so far down there, so I'm actually gonna have to do that 
somewhat by hand. I don't want to heat it up, but it's gonna, it'll be a challenge. So when I do it, I'll show you guys how it's done. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the proper clamp. I found it and uh, if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments and you guys stay groovy.